Hey guys, I'm TSM Pojaman from TSM's R6 team, and uh, this is a guide to playing smoke on defense. Can they find success? Pojoman gets the first kill. Chala comes off the stick, and he's eliminated by Pojo. He gets it. Nice shot. He can find two more. And oh, Pojo Man's absolutely insane. What a clutch from Pojo Man. He's back. So pre-ground with smoke, you're pretty much just going to make holes all around the map for your team. Obviously do your reinforcements, shoot some drones if you see them. If you have an organized team, you'll probably need to be making a lot of holes and it's going to take you a lot of time. Writing out the map and like how you're going to do it is usually important for me, especially because I need to be able to do it fast enough so that I can get sight ready. If a team sees like the site is open, like while you're setting up, a lot of the time they'll just like rush and nobody likes that. An unready smoke is always the worst, so. Smoke's really important on sites where bomb plant denial is really important. So like consulate basement, bank basement, usually the basements. If you got a basement, he's probably pretty good there. Typically anything you need to make a lot of holes like in the site to kind of rework the site is where you'll want smoke. He can likely do it the most efficiently out of almost any operator other than like mute, which is the same thing, come on. Yeah, he can do it faster and more efficiently than Mozzie, Mira, Maestro. Echo is not is kind of a different operator because she he doesn't really let you set up a site like Smoke does. You kind of, you would take Echo if you already have like a Mute or a Mozzie that can kind of do that stuff for you instead. Smoke could pretty much be used on any map. It's just a matter of which bomb site. Anywhere you want to slow someone down, you can use the Smokes. A big mistake like a lot of players make is they'll just hold onto the Smokes and like assume you need to use them for bomb plants when in reality, you're better off just letting those things fly before you die. It's better to use a Smoke than to just die with two in your pocket. Smoke's really good with ops like Echo, Maestro, Valk, Pulse, anyone who can kind of give you information on where the enemy's coming from so that you can smoke and delay or deny plants with the smoke grenades. My playstyle meshes with smoke really well on the team because I'm typically a more of a passive player as opposed to like somebody like Merc who plays Jaeger and peeks everybody and kills everybody. Uh, your smoke you usually want to keep alive in the bomb site as long as you can because if you get down to like the last 30, 20 seconds and you still have two smokes, you can deny pretty much any entry into the site. And if they do try to go into the site and it's smoked, you'll hear them coming through it. They'll take damage. They can't see anything. And then it should be easy picking. On my Lodo for smoke, I like to always bring a shotgun typically, just because the FMG nine isn't that great. And the main purpose of smoke is for like site remodeling. The, the site's pretty much just preference. I just use a red dot just because it fills up the screen when you shoot people with it. You can bring a laser. It makes the hip fire a lot better. I find it, make, it makes a lot better rotate holes if you don't have a laser. So definitely the SMG 11 over the pistol, vertical grip, and then flash hider. I use the flash hider because it has the best recoil stats. And lastly, deployable shield and barbed wire is really going to depend on the site that you're taking and how much barbed wire that your team has or if your team has shields as well while we're on the topic of having a good setup it's always good to have a nice reliable mouse i use the logitech g pro wireless it's super light there's no cord to get in the way i really like the shape of it so on a map like bank you typically want to reinforce one of the walls in red usually i do the right hand side after reinforcing the red wall you want to open a, a hole right next to it so that you can throw utility like c4s or smokes onto the default plant, which is right here. People can crouch in and plant here without anybody being able to shoot them. So typically you wanna be able to throw like explosives and packs, smoke grenades so that you can deny that plant. For barbed wire, I'll usually put one on main stairs to stop attackers from rushing down and shooting you in the back. Also usually just put one on the site door to prevent any rushes from dirt or anything like that. Don't be afraid to put it in spots that look a little bit weird, but try to make it harder for attackers to just punch it for free. Like a lot of the time I'll notice newer players, they'll just put it right inside a doorway and they can just punch it safely from outside the door without having to actually touch the barbed wire. For rotate holes specifically, I would recommend making sure you can get through them both ways so that your team doesn't end up yelling at you. I've had this happen on a variety of instances where it'll work one way and then you try to get back in from the other way and they can't vault it and they die and they yell at me and they get mad at me. After the round starts, I'll typically get on cameras to try to see 
where the attackers are coming from and I'll try to like warn my teammates. Uh, I usually try to actually play a little bit out of the site, enough so that I can be there to stop a run, but far enough out so that I can actually help my teammates if I hear that they're in trouble. Like a big thing, a big thing with smoke is don't just sit in the basement and wait for all of your teammates to die because if you're stuck in a 1v5 or a 2v5 and they still have two minutes left, like you're not, you're not gonna have a chance. You might as well at least help your team fight. I find the biggest counter to me personally as a smoke is usually either buck, like bucking above me. So either bucking above the site or bucking below the site. It's a map, map counter, because typically smoke will be in the site and then either buck will go under or go over you and just start making you move. That's typically when you die the most. The second op that I would say counters you would be Zofia. Zofia's stuns pretty much counter everybody, but particularly when you're in the site and you have a shotgun with four shells left and an SMG 11, and you can barely turn your mouse. As they push in, a Zo stun well-timed will pretty much just ruin your chances of trying to clutch. And that's typically what Smoke is really good at. I think Smoke counters a lot of like aggressive ops, like Ash, IQ, anyone that's gonna try to bum rush through your site. As long as you have your shotgun out, like you'll make really short work of anybody that tries to do that. Even if you get aggressive, you can get super aggressive with your shotgun. And as long as you ADS it, you should be able to clean up people like that. Generally, I'll try to save at least two for most sites, maybe even three, depending, like bank basement, you definitely wanna save all three for the plant or execute, uh, but on a lot of other sites, you can feel free to actually throw those things a lot more than you'd think. But yeah, typically you want at least one for the end of the round, because it really lets you kind of maneuver and use it to your advantage. You either A, you want to use them to deny a plant, B, use them to slow somebody down from working towards you. This could even be early in the round. Smoke is all about delaying time. And if you can do that early in the round and then late round, you maybe have C4s, or they just don't have enough time to really do what they wanted to do, that can actually be more beneficial than you'd think. Another way to use them is to actually get aggressive. A lot of people think smoke is like a defensive, like super defensive, super passive, but the best way to use smoke, I would say, is actually to use the smokes aggressively. Still no damage done to Hojo Man. Thomas will have to go for the plant. This is <laughs> crazy here. He's got little time left, and Hojo Man knows that he's got all the advantage all the ammo left and Pojo Man goes in for the headshot. Thomas goes down. You can get away with using either a shield or barbed wire. The shields are actually really strong now that they have the holes in them and are actually more effective at slowing people down, I would say, than the barbed wire. But having barb on certain maps, certain sites is always pretty good. A trick to use with like a shield would be put it in a doorway kind of awkwardly. And that way it forces the attackers to either jump over it or pretty much just face like a straight shotgun shot. For aiming the smokes, I'll use, depending on where I am, a good example would be like top bank stairs. I'll try to throw it deeper so that the smoke doesn't cover as much of my vision and it actually extends out into the doorway. So this is a, like a lineup you can use to smoke the default if you have these holes set up correctly. You aim at this wood pillar, you line up with this wood pillar. Like you have the height of this one, but you aim it right there. And that smokes off default plant from pretty far back and you're safe. You know, you're facing a bad smoke player when the smokes end up falling way too short or going way past you. Like I see that a lot on consulate. People won't throw them far enough and I can just plant for free and I just laugh. Uh, also, if they throw them way past me because I also laugh. Another thing I notice is when people smoke me way too late. So if I'm planting and I'm already five seconds into a plant and I get smoked, I can pretty much just stick it because I have an extra two seconds. Smokes take about four and a half seconds to kill you. As long as I'm halfway through a plant, I can usually get it down as long as you've smoked too late. So mechanic with smoke as of the current patch is that you can smoke deny people through the wall. And the way you do this is when a smoke hits a ground like this, it'll hit the surface and then it'll bloom around that surface. So if you throw one right here, it'll bloom through the wall and smoke off this default plant. Typically people like to plant here on uh, who could attack. So if you do that smoke, you hear them plant, 
you'll definitely stop them there and they'll either have to move or they'll have to just fall back and you'll burn a lot of time you're super safe here typically as smoke so you can just throw that down and then just keep watching your hallway if you're gonna throw one try to do it from from behind cover like throw it over something so you're not getting exposed if it feels dangerous to do it it probably is just try to throw them as safe as you can like just do that or maybe even peek out with your gun first check if it's good to smoke and then throw it typically when you use the shotgun you want to make sure you land as much of the circle or your reticle on them as you can headshots don't matter at all so the most important thing is getting like surface area on someone so you usually want to aim like chest level, even like, even legs are good as long as you get more body chunk. For making holes, the most important thing is just make sure you're moving and you're not ADS'd. You can make a lot bigger, cleaner holes and you'll get rid of the wood beams a lot easier if you do that. I avoid taking damage from grenades by yelling at my Jaeger to give me an ADS in the bomb site. And uh, if I don't have an ADS, I run like a little away from them and then I yell at my Jaeger the next round to give me one. On smoke if I'm trying to coordinate a play with my teammates I'll usually just say like I've smoked this spot and I'll give the call out. Uh, if we don't have vision I'll say I smoke deep fall plant can't be planning there so that way they can use their C4s and everything else somewhere else. If I'm the one that has to retake usually either me or the rest of the team screwed up somewhere else. Typically, it'll just involve throwing a bunch of smoke grenades in every direction I can. So like on bank, maybe you can smoke the hatch, you can smoke the server stairs, you can smoke behind the server. If you still have smokes at that point, you definitely screwed up, but those are options. Smoke's not bad at having to retake sites. Like obviously you screwed up if you usually have to, but if they're not on the site, there's 20 seconds left, I'm throwing every single smoke grenade at every single entrance and just crossing my fingers and pointing my pump shotgun at the door. Like, <laughs> 20 seconds left. Not in the end, Pojo Man now with much potential has down the diffuser with 18 seconds left on the Jackal Pings. They know where he is and Pojo Man's gonna directly try to stop them. No, they're actually rotating all the way around to the other side. He still has one smoke in hand. He's gonna have to throw it and push in. It looks like Slash is gonna be waiting for the eventual push into the hallway. No, he's not. Looking the wrong way. The plant is going down. Is he gonna be able to get off the plant and win the fight? No, Pojo Man with the huge clutch coming in big for TSM. That's exactly what they need to take it and win. Hey guys, round. thanks for watching my smoke guide. If there's any ops that you'd want me to cover in the future, let me know. Once again, I'm TSM Pojo Man from our R6 team and uh, have a good night or day, wherever you're watching.